Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my dad, Daddy. Hello. <laughs> yes, you heard right. Richard is doing the bit today. So, I'm going to teach you a quick tip on keyframes. And I'm going to do it in 2.5. So, for you guys who are like, what is 2.5? It looks totally different. Um, this is going to be good for keyframes. Okay, and we click this instead of just moving the mouse. That's a new thing for 2.5. And I'm just going to start making keyframes. So... I'm going to zoom up here. And... Was that a mouse wheel? Yes, that was a mouse <laughs> wheel. And... I'm going to mouse wheel out now. And... <laughs> I hit I to insert a keyframe. So, I is for insert. I'm going to insert location. Because I want it to start at this point. And then I hit the up arrow to go ahead 10 frames. If you saw... The green thing go from here to here. That's 10 frames. And, um. It's pretty cool they got the timeline right there by default now. Yeah, that's what makes it so easy in 2.5. Um. So now I'm gonna move it up a little bit. And then hit I. And I'm gonna insert location rotation because that makes it able to stay there, like location, for it to move up and rotation because the next one I'm going to be rotating it but if I rotate it without putting on the rotation on here then it will always be rotated and we don't want that so I'm going to put on location rotation okay and then I hit up arrow to go ahead 10 frames then I'm going to rotate it I'm going to hit I for location rotation again because we want it to stay there and rotate. Then, I'm going to go ahead 10 frames again. And I'm going to move it to the side. And instead of location rotation, although we could do it, um, we don't need to because we just moved it. So I'm just going to do location. Then I'm going to go ahead 10 frames and go down here and hit E for end. Uh, there we go. So that ended it. And I'm going to click play, and it plays. You see it goes up, then rotates, then goes to the side. And let's pause that. And I'm just going to do control N for new, and so that we can just start it over. That's 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 weird. Shouldn't you do Control X for new? <laughs> that's as every Blender user knows. Yes, but Control N is the new feature here. So let's join the rest of the world. Anyway, we're gonna hit the record button, and you see it says automatic. Here, let me get it back. Automatic keyframe insertion for objects and bones. That's basically what it does. So. But it's, it records it as soon as it moves. So if you want it to stay there, you have to hit, hit I and do location because um, it only inserts the keyframe when it moves. Then we go ahead 10 frames and we move it up. And it automatically does location rotation so we don't have to do any of that, which is very handy. And as you see, once we move up another 10, look at here. It already inserted it without us, without us having to hit I. So that's another handy thing. And then I'm going to rotate it. Then uh, go ahead 10 frames. And it already did the location rotation. Then we move it. And go ahead 10 frames and end it. And it's the same number of frames. We did that a lot easier with um, record, so I'm just going to turn that off and I'm going to play. And you can see it's doing the exact same thing except we did a lot easier. Cool. Now the new feature on here is that you can go up and down, whoops, anyway, 
you can move it around while it's playing. I'm just doing four and six here and eight and two on my number pad for this. And um, I'm gonna tab in and look at this. You can even tab in and I'm gonna select none. I'm gonna select that vertice and I can move it anywhere. <laughs> and now it's doing it like that and I love that feature. It's so awesome. So that's a cool new thing. And we really got that good. And then other things, I'm just going to show another couple de demonstrations of the views. You know, you can see it moving. So if you didn't see that originally, here we go. I like that. That's one of my favorite features. And that's pretty much it. That's our bit on keyframes. So see ya. See you next time. Bye.